So this is going to be a really, really fast video. I'm just going to show you guys something in case you're a beginner and don't really know um, some of the little ins and outs of 3D printing. This is more of a beginner video. But you can see, let me show you this first. I'm printing the base of this Baby Yoda. And you can see here, this is the very bottom that would have went down on. You can see in that first layer just how many mishaps we had at regular speed. Where it didn't stick to the bed, it kept drawing off and coming along with the extruder. Or not the extruder, but it kept attaching to the hot end and getting dragged here. You can see a piece of filament that went all the way this way because it got dragged. That whole section is missing a whole layer. This all got jumbled up, and if you know anything about 3D printing, it'll go around and go da-dunk, da-dunk every time it goes around that. And then it creates just a whole mess on the top that's going to make your base uneven because it's the bottom of this print. So this is, this is probably the fifth iteration of this, and by far not the worst one that I had. And... I'm going to show you guys what I do to then get it to print perfectly. You can see this one is printing perfectly. It's not having any mishaps. It's going good. And I didn't. Some people may be thinking, oh, well, you just leveled the bed. Well, no, I leveled the bed before these two level them perfectly. In fact, I kept level on them. That got leveled five times. <laughs> so, no, it's not leveling the bed. You can have the bed perfect and still have stuff like that. What you do, and most printers have this, so don't worry, I'm going to take this light off so you can see this a little better, is, uh, not just the Creality Ender 3, but any printer has this. What I like to do is just set the heat up just for the first layer. So you start the print, you get the G code, and you start the print with your regular settings that you have. And then you can go in, and I don't really need to show you this, but this is the Creality Ender 3, but you can do all this stuff uh, on other printers. So you can go in and turn the temperature up, on the nozzle and on the bed just went 10 degrees on the bed I usually go 5 degrees on the nozzle now I don't think you actually need to do this step this is just kind of for me so it flows a little better and you can argue with me but I think that the hotter the bed is the better it sticks um, that's just my opinion but what you can also do is come in here what you need to do in order to fix that, let's come in here to tune. And you can see I took the speed down. You can take the speed down from 100, I took it down to 75. And now it's got a higher temperature on the bed, it's got a higher temperature on the print. So it's flowing really good, it's sticking really good, and I've slowed the extruder down because I noticed one of the biggest uh, things that was wrong with it, as you can see this here in a second. It's going really slow, but watch this jerk. It's really fast. Cheek. Now on 100 speed, that jerk was, it, the flow wasn't keeping up with that jerk at all. As soon as it would switch directions, it would, chick. imagine that at 100% now. Um, it wasn't keeping up with it and every time it did that it would lift up what it just laid down so all this that it's laying down right now and then jerk and it would lift up and pull it with it so that's what it kept doing since I slowed it down uh, it's sticking to the bed a whole lot better because it's, it's getting that time underneath the hot end to really be pressed into the bed and really stick into the bed. You can see I still have a few spots. There's a spot right here. And 
There's a little bit of a, where the extruder kind of picked up. Uh, right there. But other than that, I can live with this. I can live with this because it's going to go over that just fine. So now as soon as this first layer is done, it's going to be just fine. All you want to do is get your first layer. First layer of everything, whatever's sticking to the bed. Uh, and this this is a good idea for any print that you do. If you just don't want to fail, don't want to have any prints fail, slow it down. If you slow it all the way down to like 50, let's slow this down to a crawl. So let's uh, go to tune, go to speed, and let's put this down at 50. To 50. Now, let's see this just slow way down. Oh, maybe I gotta get up. It's going super slow now. Kind of like a crawl. And then as it starts put, doing the next layer, I'll just speed it up. You can speed it up at any time that you want to. If you're, if generally, if it's as messed up as this, and it's laying that first layer down, it's just not sticking to the bed or anything, let the whole bed go at, at a way lower rate. And if it's still, you can just keep bringing the speed down, bringing the speed down. If that doesn't work, uh, like I said, bring the temperatures up. I would go by five at a time with the hot end, and I would go by 10 at a time with the bed. And then whenever uh, it starts the next layer, just go back through and turn everything back up. Speed to 100, extruder back to 230, and bed to 60. So, and don't worry, just because the bed is going uh, cooler doesn't mean it's gonna pop off the bed or anything. And with this, the way that this is, I, I run this through an old version of the Matter Hacker Slicer. And so it lays down this entire first layer first. I love it. And so everything sticks to that, the very first layer of the print and all the supports and everything. So nothing will fall over during the print. It's all sticking to this. So I love that. But a lot of times it'll print the just the print directly to the bed and the supports directly to the bed and if it's starting to knock something over this or that you can always slow it down this is this is one of the good things that people don't really know a lot of people go in and set their g-code put their card in and then they just go and they want to know what your settings are because they're not getting good prints uh, they're struggling with this and struggling with that if you watch your prints and know when your prints are going to hit certain parts you can get better results but and i don't always do this a lot of times i do the same thing i just set the g-code put the card into the printer and I just let it print for 20 some hours you know but a lot of times I like to come in here when it's printing specific parts that have a lot a big hang or something like that because I don't like to use a lot of support so when I know that it's going to struggle a little bit going at the right speed with some of the support areas or some of the overhang or something like that if I want to do some overhang with no support but I know that it's rounded out enough you know that it doesn't really need the support then I'll come in here when it starts to get to that area and I'll slow the speed down. Um, might heat it up a little bit just so I can guarantee the flow is, is exactly how I want it. And sometimes I'll go in here and mess with it because this tuning stays until you change it back. It overrides the G-code and it stays. So it's going to keep going at 50% speed, blah, 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 until I come in and change it. So you can even leave it alone come back and you know do whatever so if you notice that you're getting some ghosting slow it down you know if you want some really really good results I mean some really good prints and you don't worry about how long it takes you to print it this slow it down the good thing about it is that this Creality Ender 3 my other printer uh, they do fairly good Quick. And this Creality Ender 3 is is real is actually a really fast printer, and it prints really good prints at a at a high speed. But sometimes you just gotta slow it down for the first layer. The first layer is the most important layer. So, anyways, it's just about done with that first layer. It's just about there. 
And once it gets done with that, I'm going to go back in here and speed it up. So I'm going to show you guys that. Alright, All right, it's now uh, printing the second layer over the top. You can see that, that cross section going across there. I'll just put this light back down. Let's focus in on this. And I'm just going to come in here, put the tune. I'm always going to do the speed first before uh, anything else, before the temperature or anything. Right back at 100. I'll put this nozzle back to 230. Bed down to 60. And you can leave it at 70. 70 is actually a really good temperature for the bed. It's all back to normal settings, and it's all back to your regular scheduled print. We did a really good job printing that that base. Everything looks really good except for that one spot, but that's going to be easy enough to go over the top. And these little and these little areas out here, just where supports go, and so I'm not really too worried about that. So huge difference from this cruddy mess to this. And I was going to show it printing, just to show you this, but it you can see how big this is. It wastes a whole lot of filament, and I kind of didn't want to. Basically what it is, is it would lay it down. Then it would, when it would jerk back, it would take what it laid down and just start pulling it back with it. And then you would have this big curl over. So you'll know it. Anyways, my name is Bryce and Michael RC. Hopefully this helps somebody. Like I said, it's a beginner video. Appreciate everybody out there. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget about that giveaway. Hit that bell notification so you're notified when there's more videos out there. Hey, some of these beginner videos that I'm going to be making here, I'm going to be making a series of, of uh, and this is video one, I'm going to be making a series of beginner videos. And who knows, maybe even some of you experienced printers out there may not know some of these little tidbits that I'm going to be giving you. In fact, this little tidbit here about changing the speed in your printer just for the first layer. I didn't know about that for a while. I was already printing helmets and such before I figured that one out. And I figured that one out on my own because nobody at the time had any type of video out saying you should probably do this if this is happening. <laughs> so, Anyways, we'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.